Hi everyone, this is Just Trying to Play It, and we are back with Farmer's Dynasty. Now, we just finished off the greenhouses and the barn for, I forgot her name. But anyway, we just finished that off for someone, and what we're going to do is we are going to now go over here and collect our reward. Janet, that's her name. Okay, so Janet also sells seedlings. Now, the problem is we are not going to remember where Janet is, honestly. Um, we're going to try our best to do so, but I doubt very seriously if we're going to remember where she is. But at least it's good to know in case we're like roaming around and stuff. Oops, I left my scaffolding here. I am going to, I always like to remove it mainly because I'm afraid that um, if I leave it there some it will stop something else from triggering you know like if there's a quest or something that comes up where I need to do something else if I leave my scaffolding in the way it might be a problem so that's just me thinking along those lines it may or may not be true I don't know now in this case, I think what we can do is we're gonna go ahead and take this harvester with us. And we are going to, uh, let's see. We're gonna have to get both of these. I don't need the other one yet. So we're gonna take this one here back home, which is pointing us in that way, which I'm glad it is. I'm hoping that we don't go the wrong way and end up in a ditch. At least we're going to try not to. So that was very helpful because now we have the harvester. So that means we can at the very minimum harvest at least one of the fields. And in doing so, we can also turn around and possibly sell it or we can store it for later. Now, I'm all about selling it right away because <clears throat> we're going to need the cash. Let's face it. We need the cash. We need some better equipment. We're going to need some more seeds and stuff. I mean, yeah, we can get that stuff you doing other means, but I would much rather just, you know, be as self-sufficient as possible. But then again, you know, there's always going to be stuff that we're going to be asked to do for our neighbors. So let's go ahead and get this bad boy put away. And then at a later date, we'll come back and we'll grab the um, other part. I think that's the corn one or something. I forgot. But anyway, we'll do that. And we'll try to make sure that we, um, that we remember where she is. Because I swear to God, I've already forgotten. No, can't go. I don't want to go through that way. I want to go the other way because it's going to be closer. So I, I'm seeing this field across from us. Um, I doubt if we have enough money to buy it, but it would be nice to know how much it is. And then we've got apples on the tree, I think, that we have not even touched yet. So I'm tempted to actually get those. Let's see, I think I am going to do this other over here first. So we're going to leave this bad boy right here. And I don't think it's a good idea. I don't think we're supposed to harvest when it's raining anyhow. So we're going to leave that alone. And we're going to do, oh, look, see, look at all this. Look at this. This is just, we're, we're making all kinds of tracks here. You know, and, and not good tracks. So let's go ahead and do some apple picking. Uh, we may not get all of them. I just want to grab a few to uh, cook. And if we get enough of them, we're probably going to uh, sell the apple sauce. I think it's what we make, or apple jam, whatever it is we make. So let's see. I mean, we've got quite a few of them out here. 
I mean, if anything else, we shouldn't go hungry, especially thanks to the apples, but sometimes the free stuff is not good enough. In this case, it is, but I would rather sell it and get the cheap sausage. I mean, and, and we can probably figure out the math on that if it makes sense. I mean, obviously there's profit from just, uh, as opposed to just selling the apples. But let's grab a few more while we're here. You know, it's nothing like apple picking in the, in the rain. Okay, so let's go back and get our vehicle. Now, yeah, that's the corn header. That's what I thought. Well, at least we'll be able to see it. As long as we don't pick it up, we'll see that it's there. Now, we could go to church or we could swing. Oh, oh there's more people over here. Okay, there's an old manure spreader, which we don't need yet. There's an old hay wagon, which we probably will need soon. And there's an old fertilizer. I need a hay baler. It's what I'm thinking. That grain trailer is going to be important, too. Because we're going to have to go and sell stuff. Hmm. <laughs> Let's get in our pickup truck. And let's go, who's closer to, you know what, let's go ahead and pick up these social points right here. I mean, we're here. So let's go and take a look at that. We've got to go back the other way. Yeah, it's kind of cool that you can hear um, the sound of like just rain and like your vehicle driving through the mud. You know, look at the tracks I'm making. This this is crazy. Is this a field that I'm about to just plow into? Yeah, I am not going the right way, am I? Let's see. Is there a way out this way? We'll soon find out, won't we? Yeah, it looks like the street is there, so. I stumbled across the way out. It's not saying that I'll find it again, but. But anyhow, yeah, you know, this this game is, is very, um, I consider it sometimes to be relaxing. I don't know about other people. Oh God, just ran into that, sorry. Oops. I'm, I'm so happy that we don't have damage uh, to our vehicles because I would have already killed this thing. And I would be, I would have to get another one or at least do some repairs right away. But yeah, sometimes, as I was saying, I consider this to be kind of relaxed. That's not where I wanted to go. Yeah, I, I knew I was going to do that. Let's go back the other way. I could stop at Jack, though. But yeah, we've got to go back this way. Um, but anyway, I sometimes consider it to be relaxing, especially if I'm working on my farm or something. I like to, uh, once again, I'm going the wrong way. Jesus, I'm just all scatterbrained today. Sorry, sorry, sorry. You know, sorry. I know it's probably making you late for work or something. But anyway. And, and I was just thinking of going that way. I saw that I should go that way and just didn't. So anyway, um, sometimes it's relaxing because sometimes when you're just working on your farm and stuff like that, you know, you don't really uh, have anything that you really need to do. And it kind of helps a bit. I wonder what kind of stuff is over there. I saw some animals over there. And the reason why I looked was because on Lumberjack's Dynasty, when you see animals, it means that there's some sort of, you know, wild mushrooms or wild whatever, you know, herbs and stuff like that growing over there. But I don't know if that's the same on here because, I, as I said, I hadn't really gotten into all of that stuff. Um, I probably should have, but I, I just really didn't. And... I feel bad about it too because I think I missed out on a lot. So that's part of the reason why I'm playing this again. It's because I really feel like I missed out on a lot of things that I could have uh, done on this game. And now with the DLC and 
you know, just just the different things that have gone on with this game, you know, since then. I just feel like it just makes sense. Okay, so I've gone to church. Did that give me social points? No. I thought it was supposed to, or did it? Maybe it didn't. Maybe I'm not in the right spot. Let's see if I go this way. There we go. I wasn't close enough. Okay, so that's more social points, which is great. Now, honestly, because let's see, what I really want to do is I want to get ready to do my own harvesting and stuff like that. I mean, I can't do that either until I fix the silo and stuff, which shouldn't be that long. She has a hay wagon. She has an old fertilizer. He has a manure spreader. Let's go to him. You know what? Let's just circle around. We're, we're just going to circle around and do stuff. And, I mean, that's just grinding for our equipment. Okay, so we need to go back that way. You know, we're just going to grind for our equipment now. You know, as we have been doing. You know, because I really want to get past that part. You know, so that we can actually get on with other things. Is this the best way to go? We're going to find out. But yeah, I really want to... Or can we buy... Oh, wait a minute. Can we buy these? I really never paid attention to this either. Let's, let's get in here. Let's see. I could have done it from there. Let's see how much these are. Oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> oh, man. I, I, well, you cannot afford it. Well, thanks, game. Thanks for letting me know I'm broke. Jesus. A hundred... A hundred thousand five hundred and eighty-three bucks. That is crazy. But I guess if you think about the money that you really would make from these, because these are pretty big. I mean, I guess they're about as big as the one I have, though. But you do get quite a few of them, okay? Well, you know, that's good to know, though. You know, at least we know where we stand. And, I mean, that's that's going to be along the way. You know, we'll eventually have that kind of money coming in. You know, I mean, I've seen people, you know, who go through this game. I don't know how, how many uh, game years they played. But, I mean, they make quite a lot. And... Then you've got some who own like every single or every single um, field that's here and stuff like that. But I I think to a certain extent that may not be that may be an end game goal is to own every field that's here. I don't know. Uh, I I really don't. Uh, I mean I know that they're probably going to come out with other stuff, other DLC in the game, and I just want to be able to uh, partake of all of that and so I mean it's not it's not that I want to hurry up and finish the game like right away my intention is not to play the game as fast as possible but my intentions are to enjoy the game for what it's worth and then if I end up actually stopping once they come out with something new then I'll probably come back to it just to see, you know, how that new item affects, you know, what what happens in the game. Because I, I do like the games like this, you know, like there's the cows just hanging out. You know, it's, it's really lovely. I mean, the way they've made the weather look right now is like really, really nice. You know, I, I myself, you know, have to marvel at that because I'm not... You know, I'm not a game designer. I'm not a, a, a developer or anything like that. So, you know, I really do appreciate the people that do this. So, here we go. Oh, we go flying across the tracks. Yeah, I, see, I almost took a header there, you know. So, we are in Redberry, which is a wonderful little town of all this redness. 
and we're going to go talk to this dude. Uh, what gets me, though, honestly, I think I just passed. Yeah. Let me back it up here. Anybody behind me? No. Let me go in here, which I should have done anyway. Oh, oh, car, 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 car. Just stay right there, buddy. Let me just get in here, and then you can go about your merry way. Okay, now let's see. Do we see any people hanging out? It's raining, so sometimes... Oh, there's a guy standing out there. Don't know why he's doing that. Maybe he's standing out there because we're on our way. Let's have a little talk to him. Looking for a job. Actually, I could use that manure spreader over there. Interested? Know anything about construction? Repairs? Sure. I'm quite skilled. Good to hear. All right. Uh, I'm in between travel and building people. By the way. Fix them for me and the spreader is yours. Okay. That does sound fair. Alright, so let's start. First of all, let's get rid of this little thing. Where'd it go? This here. Let's get rid of that. Because that, that'll drive me nuts now. So let's go over here and let's start fixing up stuff. Now, I don't think this will take too long. At least it shouldn't. But for, for people who have not played this game, you're going to see a lot of this type of thing in this game. There's going to be a lot of fix this, fix that, you know, for this and that. Um, it really gets interesting, I guess, when you're fixing stuff and doing things for just straight up cash. And of course, the social points. Um, it, that's when it gets really, really, I guess you can call it fun, for lack of a better word. Because now you're fixing stuff to just get more cash to add on to what you already have so that you can go and buy stuff. Um, new, new equipment so that you can do things faster. Um, you know, or so that you can pay people that you've hired. Which usually is not a, a huge expense. But it is an expense all the same. And then, of course, you have to have 50,000 social points to even hire anyone in the beginning anyhow, which is going to take a while to get. And I think on here, um, the money that you get is half of what the social points are. But when you're uh, buying stuff, um, like for instance, when you go to the construction uh, to buy vehicles and things like that, I believe... And I'm not exactly sure because I haven't I haven't done it in a while. But I believe that when you go buy things, um, you spend you can spend your social points, and I think it's twice the amount of social points of the dollar amount it would have been. No, no, I take that back. It is whatever the dollar amount is that you have to spend. Say something costs forty thousand dollars. I believe you spend that amount in social points and then you turn around and you spend half of the money. So I will end up paying um, $20,000 for something that costs 40000 but I'll also end up paying 40000 social points. So if I believe that's correct. If it's not, I'm sure someone one of these days will correct me and that's absolutely fine because I don't want to give anyone any bad information but I do believe that's the way it is um, we can always check that too whenever we stop at one of these uh, vehicle places but I do believe that you're spending whatever the amount of the original uh, the original amount of the item is what you're spending in social points and then you're paying half you know, so if you built up a lot of social points, that helps a lot. But if you don't have that much in social points, then, you know, it doesn't help at all, obviously. But 
And that's where a lot of these repairs and stuff come in. Because you get social points along with them. So, you know, it, it makes sense to, uh, you know, use them when you need to use them. But if you don't need to use them, it really, you know, I mean, I probably would save mine for the better equipment, like the best equipment. I won't save it. I won't, you know, use them on, you know, maybe the next tier equipment. So, see, that building wasn't that bad. And it actually looks pretty good. You know, it stopped raining in here. So, it looks pretty good. So, let's go down. Oh, that's not that wasn't the right way down, but we got down anyway. Let's go. Let's try to go out where we came in. So, I can remember to close the door. Because... I just I just like to to do that. Let's go fix another one. So we're fixing all of this junk. So we're fixing his like entire place before we even do our own. I mean, and that's fine too. You know, it's like we're gonna help the neighbors so we can help ourselves, which sounds about right, anyhow. So that looks good over there. Then we're just going to patch these little things up here. And this is looking okay. Clear up these holes. Big old hole here. Yeah. And then over here, that's going to require a ladder. Or for us to get inside and go upstairs. Okay. Sometimes you, you feel bad about, I guess, doing stuff for other people when you haven't done stuff for yourself. Um, I kind of do when, I'm, when I play this game because I know that I've got to do things for other people so that I can actually do something for myself. Now, technically, I did get the, um, the quest to do my own stuff first. So that was like the very first thing that I got other than possibly helping Oliver. But it just didn't make any sense to me, um, you know, because I want to really, you know, once I get stuff ready, you know, at my own place, I want to go out and start, you know, doing stuff. Let's see, all of this is done. Okay, let's go inside. Can we go... Anything in here, nothing in here needs to be done, okay? Let's go in here. Yeah. But, it, you know, it, I got that quest first, and I probably should have done them in order, but, you know, that's the beauty of the game as well. You don't have to go in order, necessarily. But I probably should have worked on my, my own place first. But it's it's it'll come it'll come along, and then I I do still want to buy some chickens, cause that's just easy, you know easy money I guess you can call it. The chickens will produce uh, eggs every day, and then later on when I start uh, actually harvesting stuff, I'm going to buy some cows, and basically those cows are going to you know, provide me with, you know, milk on a daily basis. But those really come in handy once I learn more and more recipes, I think. Because I'll have my own supply of that stuff, and then I can sell, you know, the things that I make. And make a ton of money. I wouldn't say a ton of money, but I can make some money. Okay, so I think everything in here is done. I don't think there's a ladder leading to the roof. So we're going to have to scaffold that. So let's close this. And I think each end over here, we're going to have to scaffold it. So let's do it. Uh, yeah, right there. Let's get up here. Mm. 
Yeah, we've got so much work to do at our own place. But we'll we'll get it done. So they've got wheat over there in that field. That field is ready to be done. That's kind of cool. It's 1.59 hectares. Hmm. Let's see. It's 21,334. Wow. How much is our place? Well, we don't know. But ours is only 0.79, so that's almost, that's like less, a little bit more than half. And this is 0.89. So we basically got two fields for the size of his one field. But look at this thing. Jesus. I mean, we would have to have the better equipment to do these. Look at, I mean, to do these fairly quickly, I think we would have to have the better equipment, don't you? You know, I mean, it's, it's probably a given that, you know, to do the bigger fields, you know, you've got to have the better equipment because if not, it's going to take forever. Or you just hire people to do all of it and you go on and do the smaller ones. But it's, that's crazy. Jeez. But anyhow, let's continue. Let us continue. Now let's see. We can probably go here. Would that go all the way to the top? And then drop over here and do that. We, we need to probably check the roof. Make sure that we don't have anything to do up there. Usually there is. And in this case, I stand corrected. There's nothing over here, but it's probably over here. Yes. Am I missing something here? See, I hate when that happened. Oh, there we go. We didn't finish that one. Okay, now the last building. Well, first, let's take down our scaffolding. There we go. Now, the last building. This one looks interesting. So let's get started. It's a lot of stuff up there. Let's start down here. Oh, good. We can get that without having to. Okay, let's eat something because they're going to drive me nuts. And we're a little sleepy. It's already 7.33. We're going to finish this guy. Yeah, I know. I might use some rest. I mean, we could finish him the next day, but I would rather do it now. I mean, it's... He's kind of far from us, but still... Okay, let's get this over here. All right, all of that's done. What about this side? I'm so happy they let you get up there from down here. I don't know if that's a new thing or if that was like that before. I don't remember. But if it is, then that's great. Because it just makes sense. And it helps finish kind of quicker. Okay. I think that's everything on that side. Anything in here? No. Okay. So let's go inside and see what we've got. Nothing here. This is like my garage. And the go upstairs. There's always something upstairs. So these actually, this is how it's supposed to look. 
Doesn't seem like it, unless I'm just supposed to get up there and do it. That's probably what it is. I'm supposed to get up there and do it. Oh, I guess there's nothing to do up there. Okay, well, you know. That works. Now, I'm going to leave the inside doors open. But we're going to close these. And let's go talk to Frank over here. He's standing out here waiting on us. Great, so it is now mine. This is what we have. He's running probably to go in the house. And there we have it. So, I think with that, we're going to end this episode. Because we need to get home and go to sleep. I really wanted to swing by over here, but they'll be there. You know, they're not going anywhere. But what I really wanted to do was to uh, finish, you know, go to these other two people, grab their, you know, equipment, and then go on. But I think what we're going to do is we're going to go home, and we're going to get out of the har harvester. I mean, this rain is really coming down. I mean, it, it is really, really bad. But we're going to um, go home. We're going to go to sleep. And then we're going to wake up the next day. And we're going to tackle what comes uh, with it. We're also going to find some time to deal with our own house and other things now in the rain it probably would have been a really good time to do it but you know we didn't but anyhow you know if you enjoyed the video please leave me a like if you didn't please leave me a dislike and let me know why you didn't enjoy it hopefully i can improve upon whatever it is but until the next video i hope to see you then until that time comes this is just trying to play it and i hope to see you next time until then please stay safe